The processing plant is the heart of every operational surface mine, and it is here at this particular processing plant where the raw anthracite coal is taken to be broken, cleaned, and sorted. Let's go up inside the plant, and I'll take you for a quick tour and show you around inside. Okay, from right here you can get a good overview of the inside of this coal processing plant. Let's go and check it out. Okay, all the material that is fed into the plant comes in up top there, and it makes its way down where it is sized. There's coal in this, rock, wood, and slate, and it has to be separated. That big drum that you see spinning there mixes the material with heavy media and it allows for the coal to float and the rock to sink. And this is all waste that is being discharged. That's pure coal right there. Now on that vibrator over there that I'm going to show you in a minute is all the rock refuse that has been separated from the coal. And as you're going to see, after it is sprayed off, it makes its way and falls down a chute onto the refuse belt line, which then takes it right outside to the refuse dump. Right below where it falls down the chute is right onto the refuse belt line and you can see all the material being taken outside to the dump site. Okay, the smallest coal that this company makes falls down this chute right here onto this vibrator table. This is the number four coal. And you can see it almost looks like a mud when in fact that is very fine coal. This is the smallest coal that this plant can recover. that you see spinning right here is called a magnetic separator and it removes the magnetite. There are three of these in this plant.
this is the shoe that drops the refuse down onto the belt line. Now the material that you see falling down that chute onto this belt line is the Cogen product, which takes it right outside to the stockpile yard. And that's basically the inside of this process. This is all the pure coal that is being taken to the retail coal pocket section of the plant, which is what we're going to go and check out now. Okay, all the raw coal then travels through this tunnel on this belt line you see into the retail coal pocket section of the processing plant. Normally this belt line would be full of coal, but they're not running that fast today. This is all pure coal you see right here, but as you can see, it's in all different sizes. And now that the rock and slate has been separated from the coal, it's time to actually size the coal, which is what we're going to go and take a look at now. All the coal falls off that belt line down on top of this vibrator. The number five coal drops down into that chute. The other size coal falls down this chute into this big tank. And this big machine you see right here that's rotating is called a wood picker. And its purpose is to separate the wood from the coal. And it then pulls the coal out of the tank. And drops the coal down on top of this vibrator. You can see when the coal enters how it falls through the screen. That means it's falling down through the screens and being sized. This other vibrator you see over here is used to make two larger sized coals, but they're not making them today. Here you can see where the number five coal drops down into this chute and then goes directly outside to the stockpile yard. And this is the number five coal. Here you can get another good view of the wood picker. Again, this separates wood from coal. Here you can see one size coal falling down the chute to go to the coal pocket and another size being screened up top.
this is the top of the coal pockets right here. And this is where each individual sized coal falls down into its own pocket. Each one of these pockets or bends holds roughly around 85 to 100 ton of coal. And they have to be emptied frequently. There you can see the coal falling down the chute, down into the pocket. That is a finished product down there. you can get a good view of the side frame of the coal pockets. You can see how the frame is angled so the coal can fall down the chute. Let's go and take a look. Right here is the front section of the coal pockets. And behind this steel wall is where all the individual sizes of coal are. And these handles that you see right here are to open the flap, which will allow the coal to slide down the chute, right outside into an awaiting truck. And this cable is used to lower the front section of the chute down so the coal can fall out into the truck. You can see some other prepared products out in front of the plant. And there's more sizes of coal out in the stockpile yard. So now, let's take a look at the different sized coals that this plant produces. The first is pea coal. E. coal looks something like this. Next is nut sized coal. Nut is larger than P. Rice sized coal is a very popular size for home heating. A lot of furnaces and coal stoves that are installed in people's homes will burn rice-sized coal. And rice looks something like this. Buck-sized coal is also very popular for home heating. Some coal stoves can burn either rice or buck depending on the size of grates installed in the stove. Buck sized coal is larger than rice, but at the same time, smaller than pea. And last but not least, is barley. This is a product that is used a lot in the production of steel. The other two smaller sizes of coal that I showed you before, the number four and number five, go directly outside to the stockpile yard. From right here you can see the chute that drops the number five coal down into this bay. And once that pile gets full, the front end loaders will come in, scoop it up, and then take it out to the stockpile yard. But as you can see, there are a lot of different sized coals for a lot of different purposes. But that's pretty much a quick tour of the inside of an operational anthracite coal processing plant.